This is a video about farm ticks, um, how plants grow using server cycles, farm ticks, and growth windows. Uh, first off, this is a site I learned from, Farmer Sci Farming Scientist HQ, NFQ. You search threads on risky forms, and if, type in Farming Scientist HQ, and it should lead you to it as the first option. Or a quick find code is, code is here. So, um, there are farm ticks, which is every five minutes there'll be a tick, a uh, farming tick, where if it's within a growth window, um, the plant can grow. And when the growth window is, depends on when the service cycle is. I'll use this as an example. Um, say that the first service cycle, this is using herb as an example, the first service cycle is at 1 o'clock, then at um, one twenty. This is for herbs. For herbs, their service cycle is every 20 minutes. At the beginning of that 20 minute, there'll be a 5 minute uh, growth window, uh, and every plant has a 5 minute growth window, regardless of how large the ser server cycle is. And every 5 minute is the farm tick. When this 5 minute is, is after you, um, 5 minutes since you logged in or out. So let's say you logged in exactly 1, the farm, um, your farm tick will be at every 5 minutes, so at 105, 110, or 115, whatever. Um, so the way this works is if you, um, in order for the plant to grow, the server, um, the farming tick must be within this growth window. If it is within there, it uh, will grow. There are um, uh, ways that causes um, the farming tick to miss the window, and I'll show that later. Um, so first off, the um, server cycle for herb is 20 minutes, for wood trees is 40 minutes, and fruit trees is 160 minutes. This may not be exactly true um, for some of the fruit trees, and um, the amount of um, service cycles needed might not exactly be six either for um, fruit trees like Gramja's um, Herbal Habitat, which I've seen take up um, as low as four sets of 160 minutes, and the gnome tree um, stronghold is also another one where the fruit tree is less than normal, and Taverly's wood tree is shorter than normal. That or it just is more immune to um, various factors that can cause you to skip server cycles. Here's a summary of what is said in this video. Um, you can pause this to read more of it. And here are some of the definitions of it, I guess. The farm tick, the growth window, and server cycle. I guess this is not really true. This shows how the farm tick work, where every five minutes there'll be a farm tick. If it is within the growth window, the plant will grow. Um, the same applies for the fruits of a, a plant. And as you see, once it hit five minutes, there'll be a cactus spine from this cactus. And five minutes coming up, and there's the spine. For trees, they're slightly different, or at least you are. In this one, you see that it's not within growth window by the time it hits 15. And a bit after it hits 15, um, it will sprout a little bit. Um, and I guess that means that you trees have at least two ticks, um, have little mini ticks, um, and there it is, it's uh, larger than it was before, but this is not in the growth window, so it's not a real tick, and this is a bit choppy because I accidentally recorded it at 1 FPS. Um, this is me going to check the growth pictures of them. You can see that, um, this is as large as the, what it currently is, so it's speed up time bit, so the next five minutes. And at 20, you will see that it grows yet again. And this one is within the growth window. And this is the one that was the same picture as it was on RuneWiki. So you'll need an additional 5 minutes for that tree if you want the tree to tick for that particular growth window. It'll probably be safest to make sure it plants before uh, 5 minutes before the start of the growth window to make sure it gets that uh, window growth. This is a series of tests I did to check when I can safely log in and out because I noticed that um, what I originally thought was safe to log in and out was not right. So basically you can log out of the lobby um, up to 10 minutes before the farm tick. So that means if the farm tick was at 2 o'clock you have until one f uh, one fifty to log out. For logging in it's different. Um, as long as you're not inside the growth window you can safely log out anytime. And we'll hop uh, as the same rule for it. 
So for logging out, um, it's bad if you log off 15 out of the 40 minutes, so it's a bit troublesome to try to make sure you're not in. And logging out is only 5 out of 40, so it's not as bad. If you were to follow this way, to try to be overly cautious and get the most farm ticks for your trees to grow the most, grow the most trees they can each day. This is a Google spreadsheet that I made, where you can use to determine when the when your trees are ready. So basically, um, Roomscape's day, new day starts at 12 um, a.m. GMT time, but this can be different for you depending on what time zone you're in. Uh, so you can change, you can use this to uh, know the farm ticks, the you know the growth windows for trees and fruit trees by changing numbers um, to whatever time it is that the day starts for you when you can uh, fight the, ne the next pork for the day by bail stays from NAF and other daily resets. So for the first one you put in whatever time it is from 1 to some 12 so for mine it would be 6 and p.m. We'll change the numbers here so that you'll have different times and on the first column is all the wood trees and this column is all the fruit trees here is just what I made when I was um, trying to make this dynamic spreadsheet which ended up being kind of confusing um, so try not to change this there is a saved copy of this in case it does get um, altered uh, inappropriately uh, altered so I can't just change it back but feel free to change these two cells to whatever time it is so once you change to whatever time you have you can select the first one scroll down and um, copy these uh, highlight all of them control C to copy open and open paths what I do and paste <coughs> this way I save it onto my desktop and I know when the tree ticks are without having to go to this google docs um, what I recommend is probably to find out r around when you wake up let's say I wake up at 8 for my time um, just, move the, just move on to the next one and then now it will be whenever you wake up to well, when you wake up is starting, and this way you'll have a way to know when your trees may be ready and when you should log in if you want to be overly cautious, or just if you want to see when your trees might tick and grow to the final stage. You guys this is a plan out um, when approximately your trees might be ready, so that you can get the most trees planted every day. If you want to get experience quicker.